Hi guys, today I will be showing you how I clean my bedding, my pillows, and also how I deodorize my mattress. So if you guys would like to see how I do all of this, then go ahead and just keep on watching. For starters, you're going to want to take off all of your bedding, of course. And then what we're going to do is we're going to throw in the mattress cover and the bottom sheet into the washer together. I don't really mind that one is blue and the other one is white. Mine have never bled together. If you're scared of yours doing that, then you can wash them separately, but I'm going to wash them together. So I'm going to start out with about a half a cup, maybe a little bit less of just normal laundry soap. This is the one that I get from Costco. You can use whatever you like. No scent is better. And now to get rid of any odor, I just take normal white vinegar and add it into the bleach part portion of the washer. I do such a great job at filming because everything's out of focus. But yeah, I just add a little bit of white vinegar, about a tablespoon. And then I will take a tablespoon of baking soda and add that right onto the sheets and the mattress cover. Now don't worry, it won't come out smelling like vinegar or get super sudsy inside your washer. You should be safe as long as you use of the right amount. And then I put, because it's a mattress cover, it's more delicate, I put it on baby wear instead. Whatever you do, just don't put it on super hot water. You want it on warm or cold, just never hot. Now once again, because I did such a great job at filming, so I'm so sorry that I'm out of focus, but now what I'm doing is I am taking the exact same baking soda and putting that all over my mattress. I use a strainer or a sifter and I just put it all over. It will absorb all the sweat, the moisture, and it will start to absorb all the smell. You wanna leave it on there for about, I would say, no less than five hours, but leave it on as long as you possibly can. The longer you do, the more it'll soak up. And while we are waiting for the baking soda to do its job, we're just gonna focus on the rest of the bedding. So throw in whatever blankets, mattress cover, sheets that you have. Make sure you always check your lint and take it out, throw it away, don't wanna start a fire. And it's okay to use a dryer sheet or the wool dryer balls then I just set it on cotton. And yeah, it'll take probably about an hour. And then we're going to, once it's done drying for the hour, then I'm gonna take it out and flip it again. Then we're gonna move on to the big comforter. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This time around, I'm just gonna add a bit of fabric softener also to it, just so that I get an extra smell for that blanket. Also, this time I'm going to set it to bulky and large items just because when the comforter gets wet, I don't want it to break the machine. So we're gonna already prep it for a heavier load. And this is the part where after the hour, I'm gonna take them out, flip them around a little bit, put them back in, put them back in for about another hour, and just keep doing this until they're dry. And I'm going to repeat these steps for every single piece of bedding. The comforter, the blanket, the mattress cover, the sheets, the pillows, the pillow covers, anything that I have on my bed will be washed the exact same way with the vinegar, the baking soda, a little bit of fabric softener, and a little bit of laundry soap. With any of the heavier items, I always put the load on heavy or bulky, drying or washing. So that's up to you, depending on how your washer and dryer actually are. I would do it just to be safe.
Now, like I said, with the pillows, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. The only thing that I would recommend is you want to make sure that all the water is out before you put them in the dryer. So if you have to put it on an extra spin cycle, then go ahead and do that. You don't want any mold to be growing in your pillows. Don't worry, whatever I don't mention in this video, I'm going to put all down below so you can follow the directions perfectly. Now, before we dry, to keep your pillows fluffy and not to where, you know, the stuffing goes to one side or the other and they start to sink in, you're going to grab a tennis ball and a tube sock. Put the tennis ball inside the tube sock, tighten it up, and you're gonna throw these in with your pillows. I usually do three, you could do one, you can do two. The more you do in there, the better it is for it, but it helps break up all the cotton, the wet cotton, it helps dry it all the way through, and it keeps them fluffy so that they're not ruined. That way you don't have to keep buying new pillows every single time. And once the five hours are done, then we're going to vacuum up all the baking soda. I have a tiny vacuum. You can use your actual vacuum. You can use other detachments, whatever you have. This just is what I have on hand and it will get up everything. The smell, the dead skin, everything. I know it sounds super gross, but it will feel so much better when you're laying down in bed. And once everything is vacuumed up, you can go ahead and start to make your bed. And you're gonna see me struggling to make my own bed because obviously I don't know how to put on a sheet or a mattress cover without the help of someone else. So you'll keep seeing me put things on the wrong direction and then have to switch it back. And do you see how fluffy the pillow came out? I'm telling you, those tennis balls make a world of a difference. I've ruined so many pillows without using those. <sighs> well, you live and you learn. So this is gonna be it for this video. If you guys liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like these videos, please let me know. Give me any suggestions and I will gladly do them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.